Okay, so I thought it was going to be battery replacement time. This is March of uh, 2021. Um, so I think I'm just going to add these in here a while. I don't want them to leak or anything, so even though they look good, I've seen a battery level come down a while, a little bit. Trying jobs. Yeah, there it is. It was full, and now it's like half. So I'm going to change them out, so I think it's time for them to go. Like one guy said on the thing, he changes his batteries uh, once a year, at the beginning of every year. And that's what I'm start doing. I just like that idea. These cages are too darn expensive to screw around with it. These cages are like 500 bucks. So I don't want to junk them out just because of being a cheap ass and not changing your batteries every year. And I think they'll work better. They'll probably, uh, the zero will probably stay zeroed better, I'll bet. We'll do an experiment because I think the zero's just slightly getting off a little bit here and there. So we'll see if the new batteries fix that up. It should. If you guys notice that your zero changes a lot, probably time for new batteries. So uh, let's change them out. Let's have a look. Okay, took out the batteries. Let's have a look at the batteries. Let's see if we see any leakage or anything bad. Um, I don't think so. Right off the bat, I did see a tiniest bit of green starting on one of the connection points on the bottom, on the uh, not the spring, but on the flat surface inside the. Uh, Inside the 557s. So, um, oh, we got a little dento. Looks like on one of those on the top or something. I don't know what that is a dento or a bulljo? Oh, I don't know. It's definitely a dent. Can't tell on the camera, but it's definitely a dent. All right, so these still work good. They're not leaking. I'll keep them as spares in the kitchen, the house, or something. Um, but uh, and I saw a little bit of green and uh how did i clean up the green on it was that left one up there the flat one still a little speck of green there i just spit on a rag and wiped it the old spit shine i find spit works good for a lot of things like model and serial number tags on compressors something you got handy and usually a lot of Looks all right. Let's throw some new batteries in here. Use these optimums. Okay, let's rock and roll. Let's see how they go. This is uh, March of 2021. Okay. I wonder is there a year on there when I bought these? Don't think so. Okay. So I got fresh batteries in here. These Duracell Optimum. So, all right. Let's see how it works. Put the cover back on here. You do want to check your cover for uh, signs of acid. I noticed a little right there in that corner, I think. So I'm going to have to scrape that out with a screwdriver. 
and of course I use some spit use some spit on it get it diluted I've got a couple of corners with some all right you could use 409 or something probably too or maybe just sink tap water would work too okay that's all cleaned up now I just uh, dropped a little spit into that hole and swirled it around with the tip of a screwdriver scraped it around there diluted it all and just wiped it out with a rag with a rag right here so um, worked out good good enough for me good enough for you guys too if you see it in the field you can do it in the field something you can do right then and there Good enough. Let's put it right together. Well, it looks like after you take out the batteries, you gotta reprogram everything. I hope all the refrigerants are still there. That's gonna piss me off if they're not. I think how this thing works is if I had been really smart about it, I think if you take out two of the batteries at a time, you don't have to reset anything. You do two, replace them, then replace the other two. And I think two keeps the battery, the memory back up. Um, of course, I always do things the hard way, though. Um, all right, so I think we got to do okay Fahrenheit. Uh, what do we got to do forward or yeah? No, I don't. Forward and up and down changes that okay mode. What the heck? Oh, set. Okay, yeah. All right, set PSI. Okay, set, PSIG, microns, auto on and off, whatever the TFAC is, I forget, 404, let's see if I got all my refrigerants still in there, refrigerants, yeah, I think that's going to be burned into the software chip, hardware chip, and the software, so yeah, it's, yeah. So yeah, everything's in there. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, okay, and so just so you know, um, I always keep my knobs mid seated on any manifold I own, whether it be analog or digital, if they're the turning kind of knobs, unless they're the uh, ball valve type uh, that's a quarter turn, then you obviously can't do that. But um, I like to keep all my not manifolds that use knobs that are turning. These are eight turns from open to close, and I keep them at three or four turns, uh, at least you know a couple of turns. I don't leave them seated either way, back seated or front seated. So, uh, well, that's that. Uh, four, four, okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, didn't even have to zero it. It was already zeroed. Uh, light. So let's power it down. Let's see if it powers back up again. Okay, go. Okay, cool. I'll let you guys know how these new batteries work out. Optimum Duracell. Let's see how it goes. See if it holds a zero all the time. That would be nice if it does. I think that's an issue of battery voltage. If your battery voltage varies, your um, zero is going to vary. So uh, the better batteries you have in there, I think the tighter it's going to hold your zeros. 
Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Click like on the video and subscribe. Take care, bye. Hey, guess what I just found on the back of my manifold? I think when I got these. I think this date, if you can barely make it out, see the last numbers? 16. It's 2016, you can barely make it out. January, March of 2016. That's when I got these. Uh, this is March of 2021. I just marked it on here. Uh, has anybody got any good ideas for marking on these things uh, when you change your batteries? I would like to know that if somebody has a cool trick. I'm going to put down here in Sharpie, uh, 3 of 21 for battery change. But anybody got any cool ideas besides using an engraver? I guess you could use an engraver and start just writing all over it. Uh, in the back, right back here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, so, wonder if anybody's got any ideas. Let me know if you do in the comments. Where we could put battery change. Or just do it at the beginning of every year like that one guy says. Sorry, I'm not good with names. Uh, but, uh, I think a lot of, a few people commented, change the batteries every year. It's a good way to go. Beginning of the year, between January and tax season, do it. Change your batteries. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, because that seems like we're doing all our spring cleaning right now and getting all ready for the summer and everything. Getting everything all tuned. That's what I'm doing anyhow. I'm getting the truck all clean and stocked up and all that kind of stuff. Getting ready for summer. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Okay, uh, click like on the video, subscribe. Thanks, bye.